You never use a can opener. Fantastic. God. Bust him. Can't, because he's always clean. That's why we need a man with your superior talents. For a hundred, there's more. What about her? What about her? A prostitute? A she's a victim. She's your victim or Snake's victim. You are one bad, big snake. Yeah, you too, baby. That's why we understand each other. I want that pimp. Everybody, help me get to off! Got him. Two pills, but they don't do nothing with nobody unless I say I jumped it in the plane, not the party. Sure, sure. This is a favor, you understand? These ladies here could be pulling in four or five hundred dollars a piece tonight. We'd all get to sleep by two. A favor, right? Had a hundred a trick. My heart bleeds for you. You're losing money. My heart bleeds for you. D'Angelo, Styles, and me go along. No way. I protect my merchandise. I don't want it soiled, damaged, or touched without my permission. You don't like it, you play with the customers yourself. Nine K seven, Limo's moving out. Got him westbound on eight. 9K6, Roger. <laughs> 9K7, he's turning north on wedding. 9K6, I got him. 9K7, fall back. Structure all set up. Two undercovers real tight with him. Whammy, blew right on. You, uh, you know Zonka? Charlie? Yeah. Him and I were classmates back at the academy. He's a real hot dog. How is old Charlie? Old Charlie's getting ready to take his lieutenant's exam. One day we'll all be working for him. I'll call him in. Will you come in, Charlie? Been up all night. He's pretty salty. <laughs> Ten years ago, he was always up all night. He hasn't changed. Been working gay bars. Been working rodeos. Dave's working narcotics, Charlie. What'd you do? Scrub traffic? Yeah. He's working a pretty big deal. Who's also a pimp, Snake McKay. Narco had a good case working, but he blew his cover. You guys got to learn not to wear your shield on your shorts. Well, you figured we might try to make a case on involuntary servitude. I'd keep him off the street for a while. 
Yeah, well, I got a vacation coming three weeks. I'm going hunting in Montana with my brother-in-law. This is a real righteous deal with Charlie. Turns a ton a year. They got a quota on bighorn sheep. You can't hunt them every year. Snake's probably responsible for half the cocaine in the state. He's bad people. He's attracting some bad guys we don't want here. He's into everything. Dope, girls, stolen property, extortion. My brother-in-law only gets two weeks off a year. Remember Eddie? The Duke? Little guy, 5'2". He was my snitch. Snake had him ripped off. Boston. Can't. Works through mules. He's always clean. That's why we need a man with your superior talents and imagination, Charlie. It's bad people. Dealer, pimp, and rip-off artist. Are you trying to seduce me again? Look great on your record, Charlie. I'm never going to get one of those sheep. Good afternoon. Certainly, Mr. Styles. Follow me, please. Scotch and water, too. Yes, sir. Over there. I see the key's an equal opportunity employer. Dollar trees. 75. 75. That's class. You know? You know? Hello, Beverly. Hello, Cece. How's Faye? I uh, haven't seen her lately. CZ Smith. McKay, I know. Happy to know you. I'll say hello to Faye for you. Well, I need some new faces for my stable, and Snake seems to have the kind of merchandise I'm looking for. So, Casey, got a light? Yeah, man, you just caught me at the right spot. Thanks, Faye. Right. Look, uh, as I said, you've got to talk to Jeanette. Uh, Snake does all of his business through her. She sets up the girls, the tricks, the dates, and uh, Snake just collects the money. That's nice. Anybody gets busted, he's clean. Huh? Sweet arrangement. You think she'd get me six girls for six months? Oh, that's quite a big deal. She'll uh, probably have to go to Snake. But look, she'll be in a few minutes. You can ask her yourself. Hi, the Hi, Faye. So you're Jeanette. So you're C.Z. Smith. Faye says you're bad people. Only the people I like. C.Z. wants to talk about buying some girls. Well, I did before you walked in, but now all I want to do is talk about you. I got a man, C.Z. Takes your money and throws you away like trash. I can give you love. No, I'm in business for myself. Maybe just a secretary for Snake. Uh, uh, Dave? I'm a partner. Okay, partner. I want six girls for six months. Thousand per girl, two grand down. That's $160,000, $168,000. Can you make that deal? Not by myself. Look. I'm not going to sit here and talk to some little hooker. You give Snake my number. If he wants to talk business, have him call me. Hey, just... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know you. Faye calls me on the phone and says, there's some man in from Seattle. He wants to buy some girls. Now, CZ, you ought to know that I can't just go selling girls. I don't think you understand me. I'm talking business. Big business. Maybe 100, 150 grand. Big deals. Hawaii, Japan. Big business. And I don't have to give you references. I didn't ask for yours. Hey, CZ, take it easy, man. Just give the lady a name, that's all. All right, you know Richie Michaels from Seattle? Well, he happens to be the biggest pimp on the coast, honey. Find out. And when you find out, call me and we'll do business. That's if Snake lets Broads do big business. Broads, man. 
think of the CIA. Why don't you have him clip for the summer? I like his cut. Yeah, you probably had him neutered, too. I gotta go. Come on. Remind me to have these clothes burned. Will do. Faye's got my private number. Call me. Hey. What's your sign? Oh, honey. I don't believe in that jazz. I make my luck to it. And when I see something I like, I want it. When I want it, I take it one way or another. And I'll tell you this, Julia. If you were with me, you'd be my lady. That's a commitment. Honey, he's a pimp, remember? Sure. Is he very heavy? I don't know why he has to fall asleep in the car every time. I'm surprised he didn't fall asleep in the third inning. The Johnny bench at the plate, too. Oh. Want a cup of coffee? I'd better not. A meeting in the morning. Stay and have a drink. Now you know I never get home. Yeah. Wouldn't be the first time. baseball game, a kiss on the cheek and good night. Some romance. Um, how about a game of Scrabble? Hmm. hmm. Scrabble. Hmm. You know, Charlie, you're just an old family man without a family. Yeah, that's me. Just a man of simple pleasure. Jeanette? CZ. Hello to you, baby. You got them. Oh, beautiful. Well, I just figured you'd like roses. And, uh, I've been thinking about you a lot. I've got this feeling that we could get something on you and me, something really beautiful. Yeah. Hey, how about this afternoon at the Outrigger at three, huh? Great, baby. Oh, uh, did you talk to Snake? Did you tell him to call Michaels? Well, do me a favor, baby. Talk to him and ask him about a meeting. Yeah. See you then. See how it's done, Royster? Yeah. Hey, you married? I've been thinking of getting married. You? Why not me? Forget about it. What do you got? Well, I need some fatherly advice. You got a minute? Where are you from, honey? It says here in the report your name is Alice Crosswick, that right? Listen, Alice, we check missing persons, juvenile, we'll find out. Is that your name? Yes. Where are you from, Alice? Stockton. Yeah? It's a nice town. How long have you been down here? A couple of weeks. How long were you in town before you got hooked up with Eddie? Ten days, maybe less, huh? He knew some kids I was staying with. What? He knew some kids that I was staying with. Yeah. And you moved into his pad, right? Then one day, old lady said he was into the sharks for a grand, and they were going to break his head if he didn't score quick. How'd you know? And you said, I'd do anything for you, baby. And he said, you'd get me a grand in a week. And you said, how? And he said, on my bed. And you loved him, so you did. And before you knew it, you were on the street because you were too young to work the bars. Yes. How'd you get beat up? Well, you see, Eddie, you know, he took me to this apartment. And he kept giving me junk. You know, reds and whites. And then he invited 10 or 20 friends to visit. Day and night. 
and time and time again. And time and time again. And I couldn't get out. Because either Eddie or some friend would be there guarding me. And they just kept sending guys in. Can be reds and whites and sending guys in. Well, I tried to make them let me go, but... Well, Eddie, he had this, uh... He had this coat hanger. You know, twisted around. And he beat me. Whenever I said I wanted to go home, he just beat me. And then he, uh... He sold me. to this pimp in Baker's. All right, Alice, take it easy. How'd you get out? I don't know, I just found myself alone. Nobody was around, so I split. Uh, I walked down to the south side and tried to hustle enough tricks to get car fare home. He was my second. Look, Alice, by rights, we have to take you down to Juve and call your parents. I'll tell you what. I think Officer Royster here will maybe suggest to the court referee that the B violation as prostitution be dismissed. And then your parents will just figure that you were picked up as a missing juvenile. You want to go home? anybody, so forget it. Oh, excuse me for a minute. Come on, Cece. Why don't you come over to my place? Can't right now. I got business. Sure you can. Aren't you the dude that's been sending me flowers and calling me up all the time, telling me you keep thinking about me? I keep thinking about you. I don't know, Cece. There's something about you that just gets to me. Later. Casey and me are into some very heavy things right now. Well, if you really love me, you'd come. I don't just drop everything when a lady calls. It's business. Now, you understand that. Sure. When are you coming, Cece? When I get the time. I would like to talk to Snake, though. Well, you can arrange that. Well, now, you say you love me, baby. Prove it. still investing in the American economy, driving that piece of Detroit iron out there. Me? I drive nothing but vintage machines, baby. Come in. That Rose and that uh, 37 Delage out there is mine, babe. You know what a Delage is? It's a French car. Only problem is, man, I have a heck of a time trying to find people who know how to work on it. I have to get an appointment even for an oil change. So you a C.Z. Smith, huh? I talked to Richie Michaels in Seattle about you. He said you were a bad dude. You know, I hear the same about you, Snake. Yeah, I understand you cut up some cat and did time in Attica. You interested in writing my biography? Hey, man, I'm a businessman. That's all. I'd like to know who I do business with. 
I understand you got some pretty heavy contacts back east, man. Gave you some bread and uh, set you up a candy store out here. You need ladies, right? Look, man, I didn't come here to apply for a credit card. Either we do business as I say goodbye. Bye, bye. Man in a hurry. Okay, babe, you want to talk? We talk. Upstairs. Just the two of us. Stay cool. Okay, when do we deal? Deal? <laughs> you gotta work your way up to me first, CZ. This particular lady is causing a considerable amount of trouble to a good friend of mine. She intends to cause more. She wants to testify in court against this here friend of mine. You ever use a can opener? It's amazing how they leave. Mm -hmm. Fantastic scars. No man want a woman that looks like that. Why don't you take care of it yourself? This particular lady? No, I can't touch her none. Because of your friend? Yeah, because of my friend. Only thing is, man, she has a couple of kids, beautiful children, and they ain't to be around when you do the job. We do business. I take care of your number. You must think I'm off a farm in Georgia. You do for me first, then I do for you. <laughs> Okay, Snake. I'll cut up your wife. And your kids won't see it. Yeah, yeah you, uh, you're pretty bad, CZ. You're pretty smart, too, baby. You know, you and I, we could be real tight. After you do the job. Having a hard time tracking you down, Mrs. McKay. We want to talk to you. What about? Well, there's a guy named uh, C.Z. Smith. He's got a record a yard long. Seems your husband hired him to do this to you. Well, why don't you stop him? He hasn't done anything yet. We can't charge him. How'd you find out about this? Well, Smith tried to uh, farm out the job and contact one of our informers. How do you feel about this, Mr. McKay? How do you think I feel about this? I'll tell you what we can do. We'll have our informant tell Smith that he did the job. And we'll register you in county hospital, private room. We'll have a doctor bandage your face just as if it had been cut like this. Now, you stay there a couple of weeks. By that time, your husband will be in jail. See, after that, we can set you up in another town. A different name, new identity. How are you going to put him in jail? Oh, don't worry. We're working on it. He'll fall. Now, do you want to go to the hospital or uh, wait for Smith? What do you get out of this? Your husband. CZ. This is CZ Smith, a gentleman of leisure. We have a deal, remember? I've been trying to reach you for man. two days. You haven't been home. You haven't returned my calls. Oh, Snake. oh really? Well, I guess my answering service didn't give me the messages. You got the message. Now, when That's do we mine. deal? That's, That's my money. Hey. You got to learn to calm down, CZ. You hypertensive. I took care of my part. Yeah, I know. I checked the hospital. You understand this, uh, this friend of mine? She had a terrible accident, man. Just terrible. Listen! Now, if you think I've done you some injustice, you go to the police, man. There are laws against things like breach of contract and that sort of stuff. You do that. You go to the police. You tell them you made a bargain with me. You kept your half, and I didn't keep mine. And you do that, CZ. You hear? Now, don't fuss with me, man. I'm not at home to you. 
At ease, Dizzy. Honey? Looks good to me. Okay. Careful. Cash. Very stiff, Jim. Rowland said he was tricky. I want that pimp. What about that broad, Jeanette? Can't you use her? What are you talking about? Well, you say she's in love with you. And make her go to Snake. Make her tell him that you and she will take the girls and go on business for yourselves. Make her say that she'll get you broads no matter what. And if Snake doesn't supply him, she will. You threaten Snake with that kind of grief, he'll deal. What about her? She's a criminal, remember? A prostitute, a madam? She's a victim! She wants to be a victim. She's your victim or Snake's victim. She's got to be somebody's victim. If I use her like that, then what the hell's the difference between Snake and me? Charlie, without the sh... How much of my stuff do I owe this company, Bill? <laughs> Charlie. Hmm? Oh, yeah, watch these. Hello? Oh, CZ, I got your message. Oh, yeah, listen, I thought I'd call you. What are you doing now? Uh, filling in for one of my girls. Oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Well, I'll be free in an hour. In an hour, huh? Well, where can I see you? Why don't you come over to my house? 843 Delora Road. Okay, baby, I'll be there. Who is that? Business. Gotta go to work. You never had one of them call you here before? Well, sometimes it's necessary. You just better get used to it. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I don't know. I had a rotten marriage already, you know. What is this? Is this what they call a kiss-off? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Johnny's crazy about you. And I'm crazy about him. And he needs a father. And I need a husband. I'm tired of waking up alone. You know, I just don't trust you completely. Do you know that in the two years we've been together, you've never told me you love me? Oh, honey, come here. Love. It's just a word. Just a word we use in business. Maybe that's what's wrong. Hi. Hi. Come in. It's nice, very nice. Thank you. I don't work here. As a matter of fact, you're the first man that's ever been here. I'm honored. Does he want a drink? No, yeah, scotch. Is Daddy here? Hi there. Linda, you're supposed to be in bed. Uh, Linda, this is Mr. Smith. CZ, this is Linda. Hi, Linda. CZ, that's your name? Well, Linda, you can call me Charlie. Now, listen here. Mr. Smith and I have some business to talk about, so you go jump in your bed, young lady, okay? Mm. Hey, Linda, how would you like a horseback ride to bed, huh? You know, when I was a little kid, I used to love to take horseback rides to bed. Come on. Jump on Uncle Charlie's Express. At it, girl. Well, now you gotta point me where to go because I've never been in your house before. Well, now you can't get the horsey to go unless you kick him. Come on, kick. Hang on now. Here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Thanks. You like kids? Used to be one. Yeah, me too. It's getting time to quit, you know? I mean, she's getting old enough to ask all kind of questions. Why don't you quit? Hmm. I don't know. Money, I guess. Suppose I get you a hundred grand. Hmm. I don't rob banks. You got girls. Those are Snake's girls. Suppose we rip off Snake's stable. Give you grand a piece and 40% of whatever they make. Yeah, and a nice plot of ground because Snake would kill me. I'll protect you. I've got friends. Now, that man ripped me off. I'm just paying him back. Look, that's fine for you. Because I'm the one that he'd kill, okay? I said I'd take care of you. Now, we go 50-50 all the way down the line, partners. You'd be my lady. 
And we'd be sensational together. That's a commitment. Let me ask you something, Charlie. CZ. Did you ever think about going square? Yeah, I thought about it two or three times. Yeah, me too. But I used to always think that some man would come along and he'd be. It's a girl's dream, baby. I'm still young, but I'm getting old fast, Charlie. It's easy. Listen, the first time I ever saw you, I said, now, there's my man. It's not a hustle for you, Charlie. I'd even go on the streets for you. Look, baby, you want a square man, why don't you just go out and find one? Forget about me, huh? Because you care about me. You do, Charlie. You care about me. Yeah, I care about you. Listen, I have this idea, see? Now, listen, you and me, we could split. We could get out. You, forget the hundred grand. We could go up north, one of those old towns near Carmel. No, baby, I... We could get some square jobs. We could live real life like no. real people. No, Charlie, baby, we could I try. Can't. I can't. No. Come now, look, on, my head's Charlie. not together. I got problems with ladies. I can't. Come on, Charlie, please. I can't. Why? There's gonna be something between you and me. It's gonna have to be more than just sex. That's business. Okay. You want sex, girls? I want them. You got them. can't get custody of his own kids. What kind of country is this? Okay, baby, what is it that's so important it couldn't wait? Well, I wanted to ask you... Come on, walk me to my car. Yeah. What's the matter, some John stiff you? No, Snake, no. One of the girls got busted. No, nothing like that. Well, what is it, baby? Come on, tell me. You got trouble with the heat, a man, a broad? Just tell Snake. I'll take care of business. Snake. Snake, I want to make a deal with CZ. You ain't making a deal with nobody, baby. Snake, I've got to get him those girls. Look, I love him, okay? Yeah, like a bird loves bird seed, baby. You ain't doing business with nobody. He ain't got any place else to go. That's pimp talk, baby. He'll get along just fine. But I love him, and I'm going to do business with him. Remember the last time you made Daddy mad, baby, huh? Remember my foot in your back? Now you don't want that to happen again, do you, honey? CZ would kill you. Baby, ain't no pimp gonna kill no other pimp over some broad. I don't care. Snake, I don't care. I love him. Please. Please, Snake. You know, the trouble with working girls is that once they fall in love, they become unreasonable. Okay, baby. Have him phone me. I'll deal. Baby. Shouldn't make Daddy mad. That's her in the Corvette. Stick with her, Royster. I don't want her hurt. Talk to you, Chief. Well, looks like we got the wax museum here. What's the matter? Hmm? 
Now, something's the matter, man. What is it? How do you do it, Casey? What's that? Keep your head straight. It's a job. It's like working in a bank, you know? You clock out, you go home, and you forget about it. You're telling me that 10 years you've been in vice, you never once got involved with the people? No, man. One slip with one broad. There goes the marriage, the kids, the career. It's not worth it, baby. Hello? It's me, Snake. Well, I figured you'd call. Yeah, baby, a man want to do business that bad, I gotta listen. Especially if that man's gonna rip off your stable. Yeah, right on, especially. Well, now, Snake, you owe me and my friends. Okay, man, you and Jeanette, you can rip off some of my broads, but they're gonna be looking over their shoulder all the time for me. Because they're afraid of me, baby. And all you're going to have on your hands is some very tense and unhappy broads. Now, on the other hand, if you want to go through with the deal we talked about, I get the bread, you get the broads, everybody's happy. Nobody owes nobody nothing. And what about Jeanette? Hey, what we need her for, man? A couple of players like you and me? We don't need no hooker messing things up. You and me, we deal, huh? Jeanette is out. That's out. Hey, you know, I think you and I, baby, we're gonna get real tight. All right, you bring the bread to Mod, the Diamond Horse, three o'clock. I'll bring the broads. If you like the merchandise, we deal. No, no, wait a minute. I got a couple of customers who want to sample the merchandise. That's what they're there for, baby. Diamond Horse to Mod, three o'clock. I thought he was just another job. He was supposed to find out. Sorry, Charlie. Okay. I'm gonna get him, Royster. He's going to the joint. CZ! Hey, Snake, my man. How you doing? How you right. doing? Hey, that table's kind of small, baby. Let's sit over there. Mm. How you like the merchandise? Foxy. Scotch around. About the price. That'll be, uh, three big ones each. Oh, we said two. <laughs> you said two. I said three. We agreed on two, man. Now, I'm not Jeanette. Oh, yeah. I heard she got beat up some, man. Must have been a rough trick, I guess. I'm not off the farm in Georgia, Snake. <laughs> Player can't let a broad rip him off, man. You know what I mean? Bad for business. Right. Now, I got a couple of customers who got ants. They want to sample the merchandise. They're busy, man. They got their own business to take care of. Where are they? Trick pad I have over on 14th Street. So why don't you just let the girls go on up and we'll settle the arrangement while they're gone. Okay, ladies, uh, split. And await two gentlemen, name of, uh... Tom and Dick. <laughs> Tom and Dick. <laughs> What's the address? 634 West 14th Street, apartment 423. Ladies? Oh. Nice legs on the tall one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I uh, copped it from a player in Denver, man. Sweet Mac wasn't selling. Nice kid, though. Bought me this. Nice style. I'm glad to know you're not upset about Jeanette, man. I thought maybe you two had something going. Oh, no, man. Just business. Just business. Yeah. Like the car business, huh? <laughs> We're both body salesmen. Right. Hey, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, CZ. I'm going to split it with you. 25 apiece, six months, and a grand a week guarantee for me. Who pays the girls? Hey, they're my ladies, man. I take care of them. I treat them well. Don't a pearl. A pearl here is my best and oldest girl. My bottom lady. I couldn't do nothing without her, could a pearl? Show the man your purse, pearl. Now, that's pointed right at your friend under the table. In case anything goes wrong. Now, you know me, CZ. I'm a conservative and cautious man. Fact is, I got some dude following the girls up to the hotel. He's gonna hide in the closet with a shotgun. And if anything does go wrong, bang, bang. <laughs> Trick's dead. You too, baby. <laughs> You can put your piece away, Pearl. No, we'll just let her keep it in the purse till 3.30. The girls are supposed to call me then. That is, they should. Whew. You are one bad dude, Snake. Yeah, you too, baby. That's why we understand each other. <laughs> hey, man. Could I go to the bathroom? I mean, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, brother. That's cool. If you try anything funny, you're gonna have a funny friend here. Yeah, I'll try and remember that snake. <sighs> hey, this is Styles. You told Lasseter that there's a guy with a shotgun in the closet. And you tell him to warn our guys. You got that? Now you take me. Now you see, I ain't no highly educated cat. I ain't no athlete, no musician. So you don't let me in your square world unless I entertain you. Well, I entertain you, baby. My employees entertain you, so I am therefore a public servant. Get the nearest car to 643 West 14th Street and intercept two male Caucasians, about 30, one is six foot, 180, mustache, blue pants, checked shirt. All Westgate units, code two. Intercept 9K6 en route to 634 West 14th Street. Cannot establish radio contact. They don't let me play their game. So I play my own game. I take that white lady, the one that the John kills himself for to satisfy her needs. I take her, I work her, I use her to satisfy my needs. They don't let me in their bag, so I got my own. It's 3.15, baby. I sure hope my ladies call me by 3.30. Retroactive. Come on, move it. Time's 
up, man. Something must have happened to the broad, so something's gonna happen to you. Waiter, more coffee, please. I gotta see a man. Pearl here will take you to a ride in the desert. One move, and they'll be scraping you off the wallpaper. What is this, CZ? A ripoff? Are you the heat? Yeah. Well, I guess they call this a Mexican standoff, huh? You shoot me, Pearl puts a hole to your friend. She does. And so help me, I'll splatter you. The way you did, Jeanette. Oh. So that's it, huh? Okay. You got me. On pimping and pandering, huh? Involuntary servitude, huh? What's that? One to three? Maybe if I cop a plea, give you some names, I get out in six months, right? I doubt it. Get a man your gun. time you were the lousy heat and i trusted you i loved you you were the one who was going to protect me i didn't think he'd do that to you jan he won't get away with it believe me the hell he won't but that's okay i called you captain lassiter and i told him that you and me made it man we got it on six different times that he night at my house and at your apartment he and won't at motels. believe you baby but, yeah, well They'll investigate, and they'll make trouble for you. They'll transfer you. Jan, I'm sorry. I think if we had been different people at different time, we might have made it together. I never liked pimps. Sorry about the other night. It's just that I had a lot of other things on my mind. It's not that I don't love you. Huh? I thought that was a word you used in business. Honey, would you please not turn me out? I need a little order and sanity in my life. I... Marilyn, honey. Baby, you're my foundation. My bottom lady. Tonight, baby, we'll make it real. That's a commitment. I can't. Please? I'll see you tonight. Don't get you cold in there. For a living. He's a player. Demo 367. 1203, Roger. 1220. 
Thank you.